National accounts figures for the March quarter are to be released tomorrow and they'll show the full effects of the natural disasters in Australia earlier this year. A negative figure is expected for the quarter and for more on this we're joined by the Executive Director of Bourse Communications, Rod North. Rod, good morning. Good morning. They're figures we might not actually want to see. No, they might not be too good and we got a bit of a heads up yesterday because we had the ABS uh, accounts out in relation to company profits and uh, company profits are actually down 2% but the mining profits were down 6.6%. So right. that sort of gives us a bit of an idea of what can happen you know, with a natural disaster because so much of the goods uh, from the mining industry were trying to get away from ports, but of course a lot of the ports were destroyed with the cyclones. So it gives us a bit of an idea of what actually can happen. And of course, uh, the big thing will be uh, that continued demand from China. Mm. And the expectation, I think, uh, with this figure coming out tomorrow is somewhere between 0.3, a negative 0.3 to 0.5 although some groups have been saying that it could be as much as minus 1 to 1.3%, 1 really? which would be very significant because we would not have seen a negative figure like that for 20 years. When are we going to see an uptick, though, from uh, the work that's being done to rebuild those cyclone devastated well, areas? Because we normally see some improvement in the economy as a result of that. Well, yes, you would see that um, likely in the June quarter, bearing in mind that we're talking about a quarter that's January, February, March, and we're talking about the quarter we're now in, which is um, April, May and June. So I'd expect in this quarter there could be an uptick. But we haven't seen a negative GDP figure since um, the GFC began in December, the December yeah. quarter in 2008. Now, Australian new home sales were flat in April, just to add to these rather unimpressive yes. figures. There was only a slight uptick of sort of point two percent there and the concern about that is that um, that's a fairly flat market for home sale, new home sales people are really not um, you know buying a new homes at this particular point they're obviously concerned about the outlook for interest rates and other factors we're, we're even seeing sort of clearance rates around australia being in the sort of high uh, 50s to early 60 percent levels compared to sort of 70 percent clearance uh, about a year ago now, you've uh, taken an interesting look at the, uh, the mining boom and uh, the China boom and just how, if I'm not Gina Reinhardt, I might be able to cash in on this somehow. Well, I suppose there's always an opportunity, isn't there? And uh, if, you, if you're taking a view on how you can actually benefit, uh, there's lots of opportunities for people with jobs, uh, you know, thanks to China. We've got, uh, you know, uh, opportunities opening up in architecture, agribusiness, finance, engineering. So I think if anyone wants to benefit from, you know, the China boom, it's probably, you know, uh, young graduates and so forth looking for careers, they really should start to think about those areas that are going to benefit from China. China's now the second biggest economy in the world yep. and, and uh, we've had, uh, um, you know, people say that there's a chance that uh, in, within 20 or 10 or 20 years we'll see China as the number one economy. So it'd be smart to position yourself from the jobs point of view, I think. Learn the language and make the connections now. Absolutely. Good to see you. Thanks so much, Rob. Thank you. Thank you. And now to talk about sport and a really amazing performance.